We're going to start in a quiet sit. Start by sitting in your chair, feet on the floor, resting nice and long, and feeling your toes kind of wiggle on the floor, the, the balls of the feet and the heel, and just resting your feet down. Feel the backs of the thighs and your hips resting into your chair, and letting your rib cage and your upper body just really rest over your pelvis. If you like, you can let your eyes gently close or gaze downward. Start by just paying attention to your breath. So thinking about how your inhale and your exhale, just let your body rise and fall in the chair. And think about how your sit bones and the backs of the thighs can really support you from the pelvis up through the rib cage, through the length of the back of your neck. As you inhale, pay attention to how the collar bones and the front of the rib cage open and how they settle as you exhale. And then bring some awareness to how your tongue rests in your mouth. Noticing if your tongue is kind of glued to the roof of your mouth, that's often a sign of feeling a little stressed and you can just relax the tongue down into the bottom of the mouth. And notice if it affects your breathing at all. And if your eyes are closed, just gently opening them, keeping that wide vision, that peripheral vision, the softness of your gaze, as you open your eyes. We're going to begin some movement. So you can slide your hands to the ends of your upper thighs towards your knees and you'll use them for a little bit of support. We're going to start with exhaling and allowing your trunk to rock backwards and then inhaling and allowing yourself to rock forwards. You're just going to take that exhale and that inhale, rocking forwards and backwards on your sit bones. You're going to try and let your breath lead the movement. So as I start to inhale, that's going to draw my, my body more upright. And as I exhale, that's going to allow my pelvis and my torso to rock backwards. Just getting some gentle range of motion for the spine in the low back. Two more times. With your own breath, inhaling tall, exhaling back, inhaling tall, exhaling back. And the next time you inhale forward, pause in your neutral sitting position. And we're going to bring that same attention down to our feet. We're just going to let the heels and the toes alternate rolling up. Notice as you kind of roll through your feet, do you feel some tension in your toes and are your toes lifting your foot? And bring some awareness to the front crease of the ankle joint and feel how that bends and lengthens as you move through your feet. Don't forget about your breath here. You can add an inhale and an exhale to your movement. And then allow your feet to just settle into the floor and see if you feel like you have a different contact with the floor, a different awareness to your feet. So from there, we're going to start to work into more of how your, your trunk is stabilizing. I'm going to have you take and lift one knee, allow the hip crease to feel like it's staying settled down, 
as the knee lifts around the hip crease. Just alternating sides, exhaling to lift, inhaling to lower, exhaling to lift, inhaling to lower. Notice as you press your pelvis down into the chair that it'll help your body stay tall and strong instead of folding forwards and backwards with the movement. One more time each knee, just feeling how it changes the musculature in your abdominals, how it feels strength-wise through your trunk, and then let your feet settle down. We're going to go into an exercise. It's a coordination exercise in addition to being a, a torso strengthening exercise called the dead bug. So we're going to let our upper body match our legs in the sense that my elbows are going to be pointing forward and my fingertips pointing up. And I'm just taking a gentle shoulder roll to let my shoulders relaxate, relax down. From here, we're going to take opposition. So my right hand and my left leg are going to reach forward and come back. Switching sides, taking an inhale to reach and an exhale to come back. Inhale to reach, exhale to come back. Again, our trunk is supposed to be fairly still. Holding strong, supporting the movement in the limbs. One more time, each side. Inhale, release with the exhale. Inhale, release with the exhale. Hands can rest down to the legs, rolling your shoulders back. And for this next exercise, if you have a belt or a band or a strap, you can use that to give you a little bit more resistance with this exercise. We're going to bring our hands, palms facing forward, right in front of the shoulders. This is a thick strap, so it doesn't have a lot of resistance, but if you have a resistance band that has a little bit of give to it, you can use that. So what we're going to do is we're going to press out into the band and then release it back in. And again, you won't see much movement because I have a thicker strap. And we're going to add to that. So as I press out and exhale, I'm going to lift my hands up and then I'm going to release it down with my inhale and then relax that draw. Exhale, I'm going to draw my hands apart lift up, bringing it back down on my inhale, and release it out. Four more times. Exhale as I lift, inhale to return. So my body's staying nice and tall, thinking about how I'm staying in the middle of my sit bones. And depending on how your shoulders feel, you can take this higher than I'm taking it, or you can go not quite as high as I am. Last one. Exhale to push. Inhale to lift. Releasing it down and setting your strap off to the side. Taking just a few shoulder rolls back. We're going to shift forward towards the front of our chair for a yoga pose called tree pose. So I'm going to keep my left side really engaged down into the floor. That nice strong foot pattern that I worked on earlier is just going to keep me nice and stable. My right knee is going to just drift off to the side a little bit. I can rest my foot on the floor or I can rest my heel on the, the top of my other foot here or above the ankle. Find what's comfortable for your legs. So I'm going to first start by letting that knee drop out to the side. This thigh is going to stay upright. From here I can either leave my hands where they are or I can bring them to my sternum and find a little gentle pressure that helps me feel the shoulder blades, the back of the body, a little bit engaged. If I want a little bit extra work, I can inhale 
and take my arms up overhead, maybe letting my palms spin back towards my, my um, back of my head a little bit. A breath or two right there, thinking about even weight through the sit bones on the chair. Releasing it out, spinning my legs back in, getting my right leg connected with the floor, spinning my left knee out. Again, finding the height from my sit bones on the chair all the way up through my torso. Maybe bringing my hands to the sternum. And if I like a little bit extra trunk work, I can bring my arms up overhead. Holding for just a breath or two. And releasing it out. The next yoga pose we're going to do is a twist. You can either just leave your legs where they are. If you have a yoga block or a pillow you'd like to use, that can sometimes help you with your positioning. So you can bring that block or pillow between the knees into a comfortable place. And the goal is that our knees are going to stay at the same level to each other instead of twisting. So I'm going to start by taking a very gentle draw into my yoga block, or if you don't have one, you can use an imaginary yoga block. You're going to inhale, finding your height over your pelvis and sit bones, and you're going to exhale and take both arms to one side, letting your collarbones turn. The goal is, is that the two knees and the pelvis are going to stay facing forward. Taking a breath or two in and out. And release. Same thing to the other side. First I take an inhale and find myself nice and tall over my sit bones. And then an exhale to take a little twist. I'm really imagining that my body is turning around the center of my spine. Letting your whole inhale happen, the ribs relaxing with your exhale, and then turning back into center. You can take that yoga block and set it off to the side if you're using one. And from here we're going to end with just a little bit more range of motion for the spine. We're going to start with a nice long inhale up, maybe gazing up. Exhale, your hands are going to go to your thighs, and you're just going to find a little forward bend through your spine. One more time, inhale up. Exhale, releasing down, hands to the thigh, body rounding. This time, inhaling up, your body will stay tall and your arms will relax down. 